What up? Logan Ramirez here, Taekwondo Daddy. Today I want to talk about 10 reasons why being a martial artist makes me a better father. And these are things that I've learned uh, in my martial arts journey that I've just seen play out in being a dad since I know martial arts stuff. But before I get to that list, please do me a favor, press the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Both of those both of those things really help the YouTube algorithm and they don't cost you anything but a couple seconds of time. So yeah, really just smash the button as hard as you can, like punch it. Okay, onto the list. Number one, it keeps me in shape. I get to work out. I get to have fun, punch, kick, roll around, grapple, choke, all kinds of things that I get to do in martial arts that work out my entire body. Now, obviously you can stay in shape doing things like CrossFit, or just being a gym rat, or just occasionally going out and running in the yard, or just play with your kids all the time. These are all ways that you can stay in shape, but for martial artists, we train, and that generally carries over into being in shape. And being in shape makes me a better dad. Number two, two. It creates a culture of respect and honor, integrity, and all of the, the, the positive words that you think about built into the culture of martial art. And again, granted, you could have the same values normally without martial arts. It's often found in military families, but military families obviously have the military background and schedule. They're moving every three years, parent may or may not go out on deployment. The martial arts lifestyle stems and roots itself back in military training, but without having to move around every three years or go on deployment. So there are just pieces of it that carry over into real world parenting when you begin training. An example for that is yes sir and yes ma'am. My wife and I wanted our kids to say yes sir and yes ma'am, but we didn't demand it and we didn't model it as much as we'd like to. However, when I started martial arts training, you do it all the time and that repetitive nature in the class began to trickle over into my my daily life and then I began to do it more model it more and that carried over into my children doing it and modeling it more when you start training in martial arts integrity humility confidence discipline respect these things are bolted into the system and that has a way of manifesting itself into your everyday lifestyle which will transform your family making you a better dad number three it's very humbling so what happens when you start training, especially if you didn't have any martial arts background like myself, is you get beat a lot. And if you're very competitive like myself, you get frustrated and tired of losing. And you can take that experience and just plow through it and not care, or you can recognize that that experience is part of the molding process that is really important if you really care about things like others. So being humbled by losing against better competitors and by being challenged to do things beyond that which you normally would do on your own has a way of teaching you that has a way of broadening your mind to see how much is out there physical world and the spiritual world and it can be a very humbling experience and that can carry over into how you think about others and in the end being a more humble father I would contend is going to make you a better dad number four my kids feel safe. Now, I think kids feel safe generally when they're around their parents, especially when they're around dad, because parents are physically bigger. So you got physically big and, and child, they feel safe. However, I'm not just physically bigger than my children. I am physically bigger and have a black belt in Taekwondo and train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So my kids see me physically fighting with other men and women at the dojo during testing in tournaments. My kids don't just see me as a bigger physical person, but as a bigger physical person who actually fights kind of regularly from time to time. Now they don't know that I know there are thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people who could kick my, you know what? I mean, they may know that. They certainly know that now watching this video, but there are actually now thousands and thousands and thousands of people whose butt I think I can kick. And I wouldn't have said that, or I wouldn't have thought that before. No, no, actually I would have thought that before I started training in martial arts, but I would have been wrong. Now I know and have the confidence that I really could protect myself and my loved ones if I really had to, if it came down to physical con confrontation. But of course, as a caveat, any trained martial artist should of course never advocate violence. We should of course try to defuse the situation and never have to fight. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that my point is by being a martial artist, my kids, I think, feel safe. But you know what? I've never asked them that question. Let me grab them and find out.
What's up, Dad? This is my daughter, Nora. Hey, guys. And she's just learning to do makeup. It's a little bit woozy around the edges, like over here and stuff. And yeah. she's um, learning to brush her hair. I'm not learning to brush my hair. I know how to brush my hair. Okay, um, do you feel safe when I'm around? Yes. Why? Because I know that you can protect us, but sometimes at night I don't get I get scared. What do you think about the fact that I do martial arts? I think that it's very courageous and I think it will help us as a family because you teach me jujitsu and so and you're a little bit tougher. Like Tough, tougher than what? Like than how you were before you started martial arts. Do you think it's cool that I'm a black belt? Yes. Is that something you tell your friends? Yes. Is that something you'll tell your future boyfriend? Yes. What do you think your future boyfriend will think that your dad's a black belt? Um, well, my boyfriend right now, my boyfriend right now is afraid of you because you know martial arts. Yeah, that's why whenever he, he doesn't talk much. Mm -hmm. and, but I think my future boyfriend when I'm in high school or something. Okay, we don't have to talk about this right now. I know. All right, thanks. Will you send Oliver in? All right, both you guys come here. Yay! Hi, this is my son Oliver and Henry. My question is, what do you guys think that your dad has a black belt? Go. Good. How does it make you feel good? Because he's been training a lot. So what do you think of that? What does that mean to you? It means more practicing with my dad. Oh, you like you like that I'm a, a black belt because you get to like fight with me? Hi. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite part? Like kicking and punching with me? Yeah. Skittles. Yes. Skittles are what we can eat. Did you just drool skittle on me and then lick it off? <laughs> this is my life. Okay, thanks. Bye. What do you think about the fact that your dad trains in martial arts? It's a good way to know that I'm safe no matter where I go with him. Why does it make you feel safe? Because I know you do practically everything right. And that because you're trained in martial arts, you can use that to defend yourself and people around you. So you feel, you do feel safer then with safer. me? Safer. Safer with you. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Oh, it's my son, Elijah. <laughs> All right, bye. Peace, yes. peace, peace. So that was fun. I promise you I did not uh, ask them beforehand. Felt weird actually asking the question because I felt like I was leading them to an answer. But anyway, point is, I think my kids feel safer because I'm a martial artist. They seem to think so too. Number five, there's almost a never ending list of activities I get to do with them that I can make up on the spot. Just from a sheer base level dad activity thing, fighting and punching with my kids, we're always coming up with new things. Duck jump, where I try to like neck chop the child and they duck under it. And then I try to sweep their legs and they jump over it. So duck jump. We have freeze punch, where I go to punch the child. <laughs> These sound awful, I promise. Like No children are being hurt in this. I go very controlled and pretty slow. I'm not abusing my children. But I go to pretend to punch my child, and they yell freeze, and then I, I freeze. And then, in fact, the other day, my, my four-year-old took my frozen hand and moved it to my cheek, and then when he said unfreeze, I punched myself. These are games I wouldn't have thought to make if I wasn't a martial artist. The other day we were at a basketball court and there was a tetherball set up. Did tetherball with our feet. Anyway, lots of games and activities you get to do when you're a martial artist with your children. And that makes you a better father. Number six, I can legit teach them how to defend themselves. This one is maybe the most important. Statistically, it will probably, hopefully be the least used. I hope my children never have to physically defend themselves. But if they were in a situation where they needed to, I believe that I have the training now to teach them, at the very least, the basics of how to protect themselves. And I think that's super important. Number seven, increased flexibility and coordination. There's no doubt as we age, our muscles atrophy and we have to put more effort into maintaining strength and coordination. I plan on living to at least 100 years old. Like I wanna see my great grandchildren's children. My great, grand, great, 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 great grandkids. Now, really, I don't, I mean, Let's put quality of life aside. I hope to live a long time. One of the ways that can happen is to just not fall down and break a hip. But I also not just want to live longer. I want to enjoy living longer. So as I age, I want to continue to be active and healthy. And I've heard in my martial arts training that flexibility is the key to life. Maybe there's lots of keys, but at least one key, flexibility. From just kicking and punching to stretching rolling, whatever it is you're doing, you gain flexibility and you gain coordination. And those two things put together, I think are at least one factor in having a longer, productive, 
healthier life, which makes you a better father. Number eight, it models physical activity. Just by the nature of training, I mean, if I have a test coming up, I'm working on forms in the backyard, I'm working on kicks, I'm working on punches, um, I've got an Instagram channel where I try to do short videos from time to time of various things. All of those things I'm doing around my children. They get to see them. And I can't count the number of times I've gone outside and seen my kids playing in the background and they're punching the bag we have outside. Or they have a, they put a bottle up and they're trying to hit it off. And then they wanna show me, hey dad, look at this thing. And of course it's a great time. We get to celebrate and we laugh and we, we have a good time with it. All of these things are modeling what it's like to be physically active. So whereas you've heard, do as I say, not as I do, when you start training in martial arts, at least with respect to physical activity, you don't have to say anything. They just see what you do. And by modeling that, I think you become a better father. Number nine, it promotes language learning. In Taekwondo, we learn the Korean names of some of our blocks and strikes. In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we learn some Japanese of some judo throws. And because my instructor is Brazilian, we learn a little Portuguese. A super simple example would be kia. When we punch or kick or strike in Taekwondo, we usually kia. We let out some kind of yell. And we're taught in our school that the word kia translates to yell or scream or or earth shattering yell. Of note, I googled the word key up and found out that it's actually made of two words. Key, which is similar to chi or, or a life force, and hop, which is to collect or gather. So actually, the literal definition of key up is to gather or focus one's life force or energy, put them together and key up. It's not yelling, but don't tell my instructor because our school curriculum, the definition is a loud yell. And in a way, you know, if you were to gather up your life force and then let it out, you'd probably yell. I'd yell. So you learn language. My 11-year-old can count to 10 in Korean and count to 10 in Japanese. And if I challenged him to count to 100, he probably would. Anyway, it's bolted in the system. You learn a little bit of language. And modeling language learning is a way to be a better father. And number 10, when you plug it to something like martial art, which comes with all of these positive virtues, like confidence, discipline, and respect, then you, you start partnering with other adults who believe and model the same thing. And guess what? Eventually, your children come in contact with those other adults. And what they discover is that not only do you care about these things, but there's other people who care about these things too. Really good people who care about them. And now you've intentionally and unintentionally put your children near and in a sphere of influence that's bigger than yourself. And their minds start to open up. And they realize that, oh, there's more of these crazy people out there, this is awesome. And that's so important. You want your children to grow socially in a way that is positive for the world, then get them in an environment that has people who want to be positive toward the world. And martial arts, just by doing it, naturally intersects those two worlds. So just by you training, just by my training in martial art, I have introduced all of my kids to men and women who share the same values as me, more than I would normally. So that's it, 10 reasons being in martial arts makes you a better dad, at least 10 reasons it's made me a better dad. If you like this video, please subscribe. Karate chop that like button, help me out. Let's make a world of men who wanna be better dads. How do they do it? Sign up for martial arts, hello. In the meantime, train hard, parent harder.